This is TJ. In this video, I want to show you five websites that you can go to to search for free ebooks that you can then download and um, use on your, read them on your computer, put them on your mobile device, tablet, smartphone, e reader. Um, so these websites are gutenberg.org, manybooks.net, archive.org, bookshouldbefree.com, and librivox.org. And I'll put the links to these in the, in the description of this video. This first one, gutenberg.org, is the Gutenberg Project. So they go around and they scan in um, old um, books and old um, public domain books. Um, so they say they have over 45,000 free ebooks. And so we can look, if we just, we can search for a certain book if we're looking for a certain one, or we can go to the book categories. Um, they have English, um, English, German, French, Italian, and Portuguese. Um, they have uh, all kinds of different categories of books. So you've got Islam, you've got canon law, you've got short stories, garden and forest. If we do archaeology, we can look and see um, African, European. So there's a, really a ton of books here. Um, we can click on this one, the Mound Builders, and then we can download just the HTML, or we can view the HTML right now online. We can download um, EPUB format with images, EPUB with, with no images, or Kindle with Kindle without images, the Mobi format. So if I just click on it, it will just bring it up. I can go save file, and it will download right to my computer. I can also do the plain text version. Looks like there's more files too. Um, we won't look into those though. So yeah, that's Gutenberg. Um, this next one, manybooks.net. Um, the way you do it is you can search for under languages, genres, titles, authors. I'll just do genres. Um, we've got all kinds of different stuff. How about adventure, this first one here? So we just have all the books here. Look, 20,000 Louis, ooh, French. <laughs> French is not my strong point. Um, I think this is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, though. Um, and uh, so it has comments and reviews underneath. And then you just select over here on the right-hand side the format that you want. You can do just a PDF. Um, you can do like EPUB, Mobi. So we'll do EPUB download. And then we click this link here, and it'll say, what do you want to do? Save this file to my computer. And now, so that has been downloaded. This next one, archive.org, is the Internet Archive. They have all kinds of stuff. They have audio, video, software, all kinds of different archives, but they have text. Um, so they have books. So you can do, like, American libraries. Um, they also have the Project Gutenberg, some of the stuff from there. Um, children's libraries. But if I click on American libraries... Um, then I can see all kinds of different stuff, literature, historical, uh, Christmas books. So all kinds of th different contributions from universities and libraries. Um, but if I do, um, let's do literature. Here's one, Little Women. So this book, I can. it's, it's actually each page is scanned in. So I can read it. Uh, I could maybe kind of read it like this, but I can also choose to download it. So if I go down here, I can go, where's the option to download. Oh, over here on the left hand side. So EPUB, Kindle, Daisy, full text, read online, PDF. So I'll download the PDF version. 15 megabytes. Oops. Click back. I opened it in a window on accident. So if I right click, if I want to download it, I go right click, save link as, and that's how I can save it. So I have a thing called uh, ebooks, a folder that I'll save it in my ebooks folder. So that's downloading from archive.org. Um, bookshouldbefree.com. Again, all of these have search bars if you want to find a certain book or a certain um, tag like adventure, drama. Um, here's Pride and Prejudice. And has all these have, most of these sites have reviews too. Like this is like five stars. So you can read reviews by people that have read the book. Um, this one ha happens to have audio from the book. So it's the audio book. of Pride and Prejudice. This is a LibriVox recording. Okay, and this comes from LibriVox, which is the site we're going to look at next. But to download, so you just scroll down here to ebook downloads, and you can download EPUB version, Kindles, plain text, PDF. So I'll do the Kindle version and save file. So now I've got that book downloaded. And this last one, LibriVox, is actually for people looking for audiobooks. Um, and so, and it's got, you can search by. Also, just whatever you want to do, you can do advanced searches, and you can go to, um, we'll browse by genre, and see if I can find a book here. Children's fiction, oh, this is a very, very long list. Let's find westerns. 
So I'll find a Western. We've got one here, Bear Creek Collections Volume 1. So this is pretty cool because someone has actually read this, and you can actually volunteer and donate some time and do a reading and then upload it to LibriVox. That's where a lot of these re uh, re recordings and readings come from. So I think I can play it right here online. And by Robert Howard. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox. So there's the, I can play it, or I can download the whole thing. Download the whole book in a zip file right now and save it. But I won't do that right now. So yeah, those are the sites I wanted to show you. And then something else you're going to want to do if you're into ebooks and you don't use this already, you're going to want to check out a software called Calibre. And for that, um, it's just a great way to organize your ebook collections. And it's also really good for, um, you find that ebook I downloaded. So this is that one, Little Women. I'll import it into the library. You can tag, you can um, edit the tags on your ebooks. You can uh, change the cover art. And you can change... Um, an ebook. So this is a PDF. Is that what I downloaded? No, this is EPUB. But I can convert it. So if I go to convert ebook, I can convert this ebook from one format to another. So if I want to change it from EPUB to where's my output format? Oh, output over here. So I can change it from EPUB to Mobi. So it'll work on maybe one of my other mobile devices. And you can change some of the other things too, all kinds of settings. Um, yeah, so you'll, you'll want to look at Calibre. It's free um, ebook collection um, software for um, handling your collect your ebook collections. Well, thanks for watching this video. Check out more videos of mine at TJ Free, uh, my YouTube channel, or at my website tjfree.com. Um, like and subscribe to my channel if you found this video informative, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.